I overslept and I did not mean to do that because I want to leave to go to Candlefish as early as possible. So I'm just going to get ready super fast. But I really like my little shorts and like top combo. So cute. But let me get ready. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. My alarm's going off. I'm wearing little boots and I'm just going to wear a brown leather jacket over this because it's raining today so I'm not that worried that I didn't style my hair so that way I can just get to where I'm getting to and not be so worried about everything okay so a little update I thought that the sale was at the Candlefish downtown in downtown Charleston but thank god Lizzie has my location she called me and was like girl it's at the warehouse in North Charleston so I didn't get all the way parked, thank God, but I'm on the way now to the warehouse, which is in North Charleston. I'm like 10 minutes away, so I'll still get there with like an hour and some change of the final bits of the sale, um, but I'm excited to still get there. I'll show you guys, because I'm very curious what this warehouse is supposed to look like. We'll see. I just got here and there's like so many women walking around with like boxes of candles, so clearly, this is a spot and this is the win. I think I parked next to Lizzie's car, but I might not have. Also, if that's not Lizzie, I'm probably too close to them. So let me, let me actually, so many candles everywhere. I'm excited. At least there's lights in here. This is wild. I had to put my bag on crossbody, like mom style, because there was just so much going on in there. But this is everything I got. Lizzie got a big candle as well. At 11.56. You don't like the angle? It's gonna fall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. So we went and got our candlefish and it was fire. Do you mind if I turn? Okay, so we did the little, we're in the car. We're on the way to get some Starbucks because it's noon and I haven't had coffee and it's because I woke up late so that's my own fault but we're on the way to get some starbs. I think I'm gonna get my usual but I might like get crazy and try like one holiday drink. We'll see, I don't know, why not? Um, I haven't finished the fireplace yet. I'm gonna hopefully finish that up tomorrow whenever I like clean the house and do all that stuff. And we were gonna go downtown and look at things but because it's so rainy, I think that we're just gonna go to Mount Pleasant or somewhere. Yeah, do a little shopping. Look, look around a little. I think I got like one clip in the. I don't mean too shaky. I think I got one clip in the Candlefish Warehouse place, but I was really overwhelmed. High stress. I, high stress situation. Like I, thank <laughs> God they gave you a box. Like I didn't know you were supposed to bring like a bag and a box. And then it was like a paper with like a little pencil, and it's supposed to be like an honor system, like you write down all your stuff. Anyway, I got some good stuff. I'll show you guys what I got later. But I did get a good amount of stuff that I can give as a gift, so I'm pretty excited for that because many people just want candles for me. I was gonna get six or seven. It was six. like fifty dollars. I think I got like seven for fifty dollars. That is a steal. That is a steal. That is a steal. There was like these big like multiple wick candles, which I'll show you later, but. I got them for like $25 and I'm sure normally they'd be like 75 for sure if not more than that like 60 I don't know who knows but I think I I don't know I'll do a candle count one two three four candle fish haul 12 for like I don't know I need to look at it I'll show you guys later yeah you got a lot I did I got a lot I got as many as I could stuff in my grimy little hands <laughs> before, <laughs> before I could go get my box I'm not always in the mood for egg whites so yeah I do they're kind of greasy I want bread today <laughs> for sure Okay, I think I'm gonna get my normal shaken espresso, like the brunch of your shaken espresso with soy milk. And then I'm also gonna try this like cold brew, cold sweet cream, I don't know, with sugar cookie cold <laughs> foam. I'm gonna video us. We're, We're gonna try this. the world's longest order. <laughs> Hayden always says that whenever he goes and like does an order for me, he's like, it's like speaking another language. Like why is there 20 <laughs> different words in it? it? Makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I did the not. The photo I took at the place was like slaying. Okay. It was so good. And then I Let's got. Go. Then I got the password, and they obviously like scan it, you know. And then it's like, 
kind of blurry and dark because they scan the picture and turn it black and white and so it doesn't look as good okay i thought that okay yes. but the passport is black and white yeah okay so i did not remember mine being black and white i thought that it was in color and then i was like this thing looks fake it literally looks yeah fake. see the bottom left corner the ham can i do regular espresso instead of the blonde sure okay and then what do you want I got the brown sugar shake and a venti fries. I didn't get the last part. Flavor. Thank you. Just it. <laughs> okay, so it's like the same thing. I feel like you couldn't shock a Starbucks employee with yeah, the order. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I would love to interview a Starbucks employee <laughs> and be like, what's the craziest order someone's ever come in? Because you know people have been like, I want the secret menu drink. On and my like, like, for you page though, I'll, it'll be like, I get a lot of the... Um, the little slideshow things and it'll be like working as a Starbucks employee and it'll be like the weirdest order you've ever seen. I would know if like if I spent the full $200 smell. that I would be like okay I need to probably cool it because that's way too much. <laughs> but if I just keep reloading $10, $10, $10 and I'm like mm, it's just $10. Yeah exactly it's like a drop but in the bucket. But it's not. It's like $250. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it smells good. Okay good I like it. It's my current obsession. Um, the Dunkin' is cheaper. I think we got two cold brews for $9. That's pretty good. How big did you get them? I got a medium, but the Dunkin' medium is huge. huge. Okay, I thought that too. I don't remember what size I got because Hayden ordered it. A Starbucks medium is like this and a Dunkin' is like this. Yeah. <laughs> Dunkin's Venti is a Starbucks. Dunkin' large is wild. What is the medium? Ride. I did not want to get a tall of that cold brew thing, but I didn't. Monday. I can't ever remember. See, I feel like, oh, I just, I don't want to be rude. I feel like you don't. There's the human Swiss for you. Thank you. Um, oh my God, Starbucks language is second nature. Do you want straws? That smells like what I get. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. You too. Look at that little baby. Where? Oh, that's that. <laughs> Here, you can you have both of those. Stop. So this is the one that I got the sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is so stinking cute. I feel like everyone wants to hear that. I don't want that to fall. That is good. That is surprising. But it also has good. vanilla sweet cream in there. Cold foam and vanilla sweet cream. Yeah. Sure. So like cream cold in the cold the brew sweet cream. and then sugar cookie. Because if you just put the foam on Fa -la -la. the regular cold brew, it probably wouldn't be sweet enough. Yeah. Follow freaking law. I like that. <laughs> I love that. See, it's I would the freaking season. If I was you, I'd be eating at Pokeberry every damn day. Really? Yes. I loved Emoji Poke so much mm -hmm. that every time I have another po Poke place in the same building. So I, I haven't been in there yet. So I wonder if they're like, if it was like a rebrand or something. Not in the same slot, just the same yes. building? Yes. No, the same exact storefront is now another Poke place. I wouldn't be going there. That's what I'm saying. I love Poke Berry. Ooh. Didn't we do the yoga there? Or down no? there? Mm. We'll have to look in his book. Like he's obedient. I have ever seen. Why 
Why is it so soft? And I like this little green ball. And I like these. about to get this absolute beauty. Okay, no bag today. <laughs> if I go back in that store, I literally have to buy that bag because they're sick of me. We well, just walked in there and we held it for a little bit, but I did get to I see it in like person. Yeah, but it was stunning. But she can find like the same one online for maybe a little cheaper, so. This little mini tree is. Okay, we're going to Trader Joe's so I can get a gingerbread house too for mine and Hayden's gingerbread off. <laughs> if you know, you know. Gingerbread king. We went somewhere to get this wreath First and it's super cute. We drank the bottle of chips. So when we went into this parking lot to the tree place where we got this wreath, we were sitting there and there's like a hot chocolate like stand or whatever there. Park. And I had like, there was a guy just like kind of harassing this girl and I thought maybe like he worked there or he knew her but like he was definitely like all in her business and stuff. And then suddenly a cop walked over whenever we started to walk into the little tent with the trees. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe this guy was harassing them. Well, we walk in and Lizzie's holding my camera cause she was gonna like video me walking like by the trees. And this man walks up to her and gets, I kid you not this close to her and is like, hey, like, I thought he was gonna take the fucking camera. That's so cool. I was like scared. Walked away. I couldn't hear what he was saying to me. Yeah. So I just smiled and tried to walk away, but then he kept. You know, oh my god, he was like right next to her, like this close. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, this is danger. He went like this in the camera. So I thought he worked oh. there, and I thought he was like. Did you record that? I have no idea. <gasps> okay, I'll look and see. Damn. It yeah, it was weird. So for bad. sure super weird so but we were like leaving and the guy was in like an overall thing that was like checking out the trees and he was like what did the what did that guy say to you so we like tell him and he was like he came over and was rubbing on my like thing like rubbing on his overalls okay trader joe's haul i got two gingerbread house kits got this from the little tree place lady eucalyptus Parmigiano Reggiano, cause we're out. I'm most excited about the truffle burrata. Mmm.